Hey guys, welcome to Sweet and Small. Today we are starting the third section in our cupcake course. So far we've covered vanilla cupcakes with vanilla buttercream. We've also done an avocado chocolate cupcake with an avocado chocolate cupcake frosting, which was also vegan. Today we are going to be doing a lemon blossom cupcake. This is a lemon cupcake with a lemon cream cheese frosting. So let's get started. With the equipment, you are using the same equipment you used in the vanilla cupcake. We will be going back to the handheld mixer. If you do not have the handheld mixer, it is important you purchase it. Sorry guys, but um, it's part of the cupcake process. If you have a stand mixer, that's great. Go ahead, use it. For our purposes though today, I will be using this. In terms of ingredients, You've got very similar ingredients to a vanilla cupcake. I know that I mentioned earlier that the ingredients are transferable. So what that meant is if we covered our basics, we could make multiple cupcakes using the same ingredients. So let's look at our ingredients. Today we have lemons. We're going to be using that for not only the zest, but also for a juice. I will be showing you how to do that in a little bit. The next thing you need is two eggs, they're large eggs. You also need one stick of butter or half a cup of butter. Remember what I told you, if you have a big block, you're gonna to have to cut it up and put it into a measuring cup. These are much more convenient. Please make sure it's softened as well. Next we have one and three fourths cup of sugar. Okay, this is granulated sugar, basic white sugar. Next, in this bowl right here, we've got two and a half cups of flour. You can use all-purpose flour or you can use cake pastry flour. Please make sure it's sifted, okay? The next thing we have in there is one fourth teaspoon of salt. We've also got two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Lastly, we've got one and one fourth cup of whole milk. This is at room temperature. We've also got two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Remember, we are striving for pure ingredients here, so please make sure your vanilla extract is pure. Okay, so that's our ingredients. So let's get started with zesting the lemons. Okay, so next I'm going to teach you how to grate or zest a lemon. What I have here is a personal handheld grater. If you don't have this, you can use a regular cheese grater that's perfectly normal. Just make sure you're using the small points. Can you see these ones? They're very tiny and small, so what you end up with is very fine zest. So what we're gonna do is take our lemon, we're gonna place this on top of a bowl, okay? If you feel more comfortable going like that, that's fine too, you can go like this. And what you're gonna do is just slightly grate the lemon so onto grater, pressing down firmly. And what you want to make sure is that you don't go past this white rind here. Okay, you want to get the yellow, but not the white. Okay, this is a little bit bitter, doesn't taste great in cupcakes. So we're just going to continue grating until we've completely finished with this lemon. Um, the beauty of this is you can actually use the juice of this lemon for the juice in our cupcake and not have to use more lemons than you have to, okay? So as you can see, we've grated the lemon completely. Um, there's a few small portions, but we've got enough actually in our bowl here. So this is a half cup of lemon zest, okay? Now what we're gonna do is use the same lemons we've already grated to get our lemon juice. So I'm just gonna cut them in half. I don't actually have a juicer. If you have a juicer, that's great, use it. It will be easier than actually hand squeezing these. So what you're going to do is just squeeze it into the bowl. 
If you get the seed in here, that's fine. Just pick it right out with the spoon. Try and get as much juice out as you can. Oops, the seed went in. It's fine. As you can see, there's seeds in there. That's fine. I'm just going to pick it out with a spoon, so don't worry about it. Cut up another lemon. Okay, and we're gonna measure half a cup. So I'm gonna take my measuring cup, make sure that there is no liquid in it, okay? You're gonna actually just pour it in. This is not a half cup yet, but I just wanna make sure I'm not over juicing. Just making sure the seeds don't go in, and if they do, it's all good. Just take it out with a spoon. Okay, good thing we grated a lot of lemons. This is exactly why you need an apron. Um, lemon juice squirts everywhere. And let's see how much that is. Okay, we're so we're about halfway there. I'm gonna keep going. We're really close. Okay, this should bring us to half a cup. Perfect. So that took me about six lemons. Um, if you want to try six lemons, that should work. Every Remember that every lemon is different, has a different amount of juice, different amount of pulp. So just keep that in mind, okay? Since we've already gone through the process of making this very similar cupcake in our vanilla cupcake video, I'm not going to go through each step with you, but I'll guide you through the process. The first thing you will do is you will cream your butter with your sugar. So what that means is, as you recall in our first video, you would chop up the butter into small pieces, mix it a little bit first, and then start to th pour your sugar into the mixture. Remember that it takes three to five minutes to cream the butter. Next, you will add your eggs and mix again. After that, you are going to add your liquid ingredients slowly while mixing, and then you're gonna add the dry ingredients while mixing. Now the new step in this cupcake is adding the lemon zest and the lemon juice. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So now what we're going to do is add the lemon juice. And then we're going to mix. The next 
next step is adding the lemon zest. If you notice that the lemon zest is all on the edges, you can always scrape with your handy dandy spatula. Okay, and we're gonna just go a little bit more. And there you have it, a creamy, lemony batter. So once again, I've lined a cupcake tray with our beautiful pink and star shaped liners. You can of course use whichever one you want. I just got a an abundance of these ones, I guess. So we're gonna scoop our lovely creamy batter into the cupcake tray. But before we do that, please remember to preheat your oven to 350. Okay, and again, I can't overstress the importance of making sure your oven is properly preheated before you put your cupcakes in. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna take a nice healthy scoop, two thirds of the way up. This batter is a little thicker, which but looks really great. It's a little creamier too. You're gonna get about 24 cupcakes again. And you're gonna need two trays. Remember it's okay if it gets a little messy. You can always wipe it down and you can always pat the tray so it becomes even. I'm just gonna go add in some more where I notice there's a little less. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to flatten it out a bit, shake it out. Okay, and we can take a wet towel and just dab up any of the excess on the sides. Great. And there you go. Ready to go in the oven.